Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Thursday's trading session, a jam packed trading session at that as well, um, on uh, the uh, 8th of June 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's get uh, straight to business. In terms of your uh, Asian markets, first and foremost, uh, overnight we have China higher up 0.3% on the Hang Seng and the Shanghai, whilst the Nikkei certainly dives. Now, we had weaker uh, Japanese GDP, uh, GDP numbers overnight, so that certainly doesn't bode well for core global growth. So keep an eye on the Aussie and the Kiwi potentially falling. We also had North Korea firing projectiles again. Okay, again, a risk-off event, so certainly keep an eye on that. Also, with regards to Qatar, we have uh, it placed on high alert. So again, uh, the geopolitical uh, concerns certainly remain. Adding North Korea, adding Qatar certainly doesn't bode well. Now, also, you had the Iranian attacks as well yesterday, potential terror attacks in the Iranian parliament. Again, there could be repercussions of that, so again, keep an eye on that. Uh, also, with regards to oil, uh, the uh, inventory data yesterday, uh, certainly uh, sent oil plunging quite substantially. I think the build was at 3.3 million. So again, certainly negative risk, negative for oil. If I bring up a chart of oil, you can certainly see the actual uh, uh, sell-off and, the, and uh, the bearish engulfing candle there. We are now close, slamming into support around this 45 level, 46 level. Potential to go down to 45, potential to go down to 44 as well on a daily chart. So just be mindful of that. Keep keep an open mind. Having said that, though, given the oil supply cut, one would uh, certainly uh, uh, interpret that as being a bargain at present. Either way, let's uh, see exactly, uh, well, get, especially if you adhere to the argument that it'll take time for the inventory bill to, to obviously be eradicated. Either way, that's the status quo. Also, Mr. Bill Grove certainly warning. Uh, given the fact that the market certainly is embracing a lot of risk at this current juncture. We have Mr. Comey testifying today. He's already released his report in advance, and it certainly states in there that uh, Mr. Trump certainly uh, asked him, same argument that we already knew before, asked him to uh, lay off uh, Mr. Flynn. Uh, to be honest with you, they're all imbeciles, okay, from my perspective. Uh, really, uh, God knows how he is, the current president of the USA. Absolutely baffles me, but if the Americans want that, that's fine. That's that's their choice, okay? But from my understanding, he really is a dimwit. Either way, it certainly does uh, obviously bring into um, uh, account uh, the uh, potential um, obstructing the uh, the actual uh, concept of justice. So again, uh, any any um, misinterpretation there, or any interpretation that maybe when Mr. Comey is actually grilled. And he does indicate that Mr. Uh, Trump certainly did interfere in the potential investigation. Then it perverts a course of justice, and that certainly uh, leads to a potential impeachment. So, again, keep an eye on that. Criminal investigation are obviously ongoing. In terms of the ECB, we're all looking forward to the ECB today. It should be out in the next 70 minutes now, if I'm correct. Uh, okay, we'll, we need to see exactly what the stance is. Yesterday's potential whirlwind in the euro certainly sent the euro higher and then sent it lower. Uh, really hard. I was stopped out as well on my short trade initially, uh, arguing that the ECB leak indicated that the uh, that the uh, potential um, uh, Draghi would certainly uh, talk up growth and talk down inflation, and obviously push tapering back to well push it even further beyond 2018, and that certainly sent the euro lower, and obviously European equities rallied, and then subsequently that leak was certainly negated. So again, fake news. And the euro certainly started to move higher and European equities started to move lower. So let's see exactly what happens. I mean, is it a trial balloon? That's what generally what tends to happen. They send out a trial balloon in advance intentionally, send out a leak intentionally to see what the market reaction will be. But the European equities certainly at lofty heights. Uh, certainly plausible to see a, uh, a hawky stance from Mr. Draghi. Uh, in terms of the French uh, imports and exports this morning, French trade balance certainly on the weaker side. So you're looking at risk aversion there. Uh, concerns over Italian banks. Yesterday, the Spanish bank was certainly bailed out for one euro. Today, we have uh, Italian banks, Veneto Bank, and I think another one. So again, ongoing concerns in the uh, non-performing loan sector. Uh, Nikkei certainly negative overnight, and Ger uh, but uh, German industrial production certainly coming in on the stronger side. In terms of other stronger uh, bullish data, apparently Mr. Comey's uh, uh, release in advance certainly does negate any uh, Trump uh, potential impeachment. Apparently, that's the... Uh, that's the actual analysis, and that's why you're seeing European equities higher. But I certainly question that because when Mr. Comey is actually uh, is actually grilled, he may leak something. He may say something that certainly leads to an impeachment. Chinese data overnight certainly came in stronger. European GDP is coming in stronger. 
okay Spanish banks supported obviously with this bailout and we'll see whether or not the bailout certainly does support European equities nevertheless that's a status quo okay now let's look at the actual technical picture and let's see exactly where we could potentially go the German DAX keep an eye on the potential H&S formation the German DAX that's what I can say obviously if Mr Draghi is uh, is uh, is dovish then you are looking to potentially close that gap at 12.820. If Mr. Draghi is hawkish, then you are looking for a flush down to uh, 12.550, potentially even 12.490. So watch out for that. Also, obviously, UK general election today, a lot of uncertainty, swings and roundabouts, etc. certainly expected. Now, the 10-minute chart, you are now into resistance on the German DAX. You can watch out for resist support. You have gap fill support at 12.870, so watch out for gap fill support below. Okie dokie, in terms of the uh, French CAC, Let's see where we stand. Daily chart at the moment certainly bouncing off support. Although having said that, remember you had weak exports, imports today, and trade balance certainly weaker. So therefore, looking for risk aversion. You do have support below at uh, 5240, but you have resistance above 5320 as well. So bear that in mind. 10-minute chart at the moment really just bouncing, short squeeze, more of a short squeeze going into Mr. Draghi. If anything other than that, FTSE 100 certainly seems to be attempting to build some sort of base here, broken out of the boy bearish channel. So be wary of that. Again, that's not something I'd like to show at this juncture. Having said that, though, we are below the H&S neckline of the uh, 7505. So any um, any price action below 705 certainly remains bearish and uh, certainly looking to move lower. If we get a pop up to 7500, I'd be more than happy to short this index. You're looking at lower lows and lower highs. So bears certainly are in control here. OK, so certainly looking for 7400 target potentially on the FTSE. As we know, the daily chart has broken the rising contracting wedge pattern, so you are looking for a flush down to 7,430. Certainly looking for risk aversion. Okay, last but not least, Euro stocks. Let's see exactly where that's trading at present. Euro stocks certainly has bounced off that key support at 3,540. Okay, 10 minute chart at the moment coming into resistance at 3,577. And the daily chart at the moment, you certainly are trading sideways with a potential HS formation. So, Again, keep an eye on the DAX. The DAX is the key leader in Europe, and we'll see which way that dictates. Okie dokie, that's the current status quo then uh, with regards to the markets at present. Okay, so we await Mr. Draghi, we await Mr. Comey. Let's see exactly how the market reacts. We await the UK general election, so it's a triple whammy today. Uh, wish you the best and uh, good luck and a prosperous trading day. Please be sure to visit cfds.com. Certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye.